Hello and welcome to another update video about the S&P 500. As we are heading into the weekend, it has been a really, really interesting week. The S&P 500 has continued its uptrend. It has stayed above this trend line I put on the chart in the last video. It did hold the $3,950 level that I highlighted as very, very important support. And it is following very nicely my primary scenario. It has even reached my target area of the wave three. Very nice. And I would even expect it might go a little bit higher here in this green area, which is located between the $4,230 level and the $4,340 level, which is as far as I remember, um, between the 1.618 extension and the 200% extension. Yes, perfect. So it's reached that area. Um, this is a really, really good sign for the breakout scenario that I'm following here, which is also my primary expectation with a 60% probability. Why is the bullish expectation not higher probability? Well, purely for the reason that we've now come from quite a long downtrend and it is still very early days at the moment, as you can see it here on the chart, while we are hitting targets here, left, right and center, this has only been so far a three wave move, a wave one, a wave two and a wave three. So this could very well be also just an A, B, C pattern. But the higher we now go, because we've already gone above the 1.618 extension, the higher we go, the better for the wave three. So if in this current wave, in the wave three, we go higher, this will be a good, a really good sign for the bullish scenario because the higher we go, the less likely it is that it is a wave C of a bearish scenario after which we would um, see an impulsive move down and would head into this green area here between $3,350 and $3,600. But so far it's all looking good. Um, as I said, I, you know, this does not look as if it's already ended. Um, it can in the current scenario overshoot it. It can go, for example, to the 200% extension at $4,340, uh, no problem, no problem. Um, and then after this wave three is peaked, I would look at a wave four retracement. Now I wouldn't short this. I mean, I'm looking here at the, at the S&P 500 futures, um, which of course can be short, can be traded, but I wouldn't short this because the distance to the downside is very, very short. And should we now go even higher here in this wave three, Bear in mind what always happens, and I'm going to show you that, um, then this target range for the wave four will change as well. At the moment, I've got it between the 23.6% FIB level at $4,110 and the 38.2% FIB level at $4,035. But this was calculated based on the assumption that we might only get to the lower end of my target area here. As you can see what happens now that we go higher, the target range will move as well. And let's say we, we max this overall target area for the wave three out, then we could theoretically only come down to 4,200 to find support in the wave four and move higher. And then there is not much space left. Okay. So for shorting in an uptrend, be careful. Uh, I'm now going to move up this wave four target area already based on the current price to $4,130 to $4,050. It could, in, a, in an extreme scenario, even go down to the 50% level at $3,991. But the ideal retracement for a wave four is $4,050. It's the 38.2% FIB level. But again, it's not looking as if it's stopping yet. So this could push higher. The $4,200 level, by the way, was a very, very relevant level. We've broken above that level. We have come down to retest it and we're even pushing again higher with engulfing green candles. Uh, a good signal here on the four hour chart as well. The bullish momentum increasing again and even the RSI has prevented a bearish crossover. And that is really, really good. Um, on the daily chart, yeah, we're still pushing higher. We've just reached the overbought range on the RSI, which is not a problem. The market can hold this for a while. And also here, the bullish momentum still increasing on the MACD. So it's actually pushing further to the upside. And that's a good sign. Yeah. And um, yeah, again, everybody was like, right, we're going to crash and crash and crash in the in the stock market. 
I've been telling you throughout here that we are very, very close to the low, very close to the low, and then we reversed in my reversal area. Amazing, and we're now on track to push higher. Bear in mind, it's only a 60% probability at the moment to get more comfort that we really have a bullish scenario here unfolding. We wanna see those five wave moves, com five wave move com complete. And then we wanna see that ABC correction down that could take us, yeah, way below the current price range once more. Um, but where exactly we will not be able to calculate until we see a little bit more price action here to the upside. All right, and that's my view about the S&P 500 going well at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And yeah, if you really like the content, also check out my main channel, More Crypto Online. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.